asked to run for homecoming queen, I knew exactly what to do. But in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. I don't see any way I'm unqualified. I guess I have flaws. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally I'll hit someone with my car. So sue me. No, don't sue me. That's the opposite of the point I'm trying to make. Vote for me. I've been Isabel's number two guy for about four years now. We're like one of those classic famous teams. She's like Mozart and I'm like Butch Cassidy. You try and hurt Mozart, you're gonna get a bullet in your head courtesy of Butch Cassidy. Isabel is an early bird and a night owl. I'm wise and I have worms. She's a great essay writer. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's gonna go. I just hope I find it along the way. She's a royal manager. We need a more micro form of management. Abby, what is that called? Microgement. Yes. So you're going to be the voter, and Kylie, you need to get her vote without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Pudding, pudding. Hello? Hello, this is Kylie from the Isabel Husband Homecoming campaign. Well, that's perfect, because I need to vote. Oh, you're in luck, because we have the best candidate ever for everything. Ask him his name. What's your name, sir? I am Bill Blicker. Really? That's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful. As I was, you're gonna need to speak up. I'm hard of hearing. He's hard of. He's an old man. We have the best candidate. Louder, please. We have the best candidate ever. Louder, son. Like her. Our candidate has never been better. Stop it. You never yell at the voter. If there were three words I could use to describe you, they would be aggressive, hostile, and definitely difficult. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Mr. Like I'm gonna hand you over to my boss. Well, I should hope so. Hello, my name is Isabel Hausman. Future homecoming queen. How may we help you? You know what, Isabel? I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to vote one million times for you today. See how it's done? I'm Gabby, what's your name? I'm Cade, but you have to call me Dragon. Fine, but I have one rule. Don't touch my piano. Fine. This is for putting your nuts on my piano! Ugh. I think Gabby should be homecoming queen because she is such a good big sister. I mean, look at her. She's just so great. She just has the best interests of her stepbrother. She is so nice to him and she's just the best. I think that she should be homecoming queen. Man, I hate my brother Derek. Why? He's so annoying. He always makes fun of me. Even more than me? Yeah. Oh man, he sounds mean. Let's just keep playing. Just, your, turn, your turn. My guy's so much cooler than yours. No, he's not. Yeah, Mine he is. is. There's only three ways to settle this. Fine. You ready? Yeah. Favorite food? Cereal. Cereal. Favorite dinosaur? Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Favorite planet? Uranus. Uranus. <sighs> Did we just become best friends? I think so. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's up, losers? Playing that kids game? Bunch of babies. You guys want to push me, don't you? Ugh! That's really good. Gabby should be homecoming queen because she's dreamed of being a homecoming queen ever since she was little. So we should make her dreams come true and vote Gabby for homecoming queen. Oh okay, okay, I gotta like I get my like, you know. Uh, let's see. Gabby, what do you mean to say? What's what like, what am I saying? What vibe? Supportive. We need like Gabby is so cute, so sweet. She's amazing. I love her vote for Gabby. Like we all, we all know. We all know. We all. <laughs> Tbh. Was it? Break my seal. Bms. Vote for Gabby. You're wrong. <laughs> I love this movie. I wish I could be a real princess. Should we go to bed? Yeah, I can share the money anyways. Color shot ready? What about, what about, what about our color shot? Blue, 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 blue. Oh, why, 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 why? What about, what about, what about our color shot? Blue, blue, ah! Princess Jasmine, wake up. Jasmine, Jasmine, come into the 
going on? Princess, we're taking you to see Aladdin. I'm not a princess. Oh, you silly girl. Princess Jasmine, Jafar stole the crown. We need to what? get it for you to become queen. Let's go. Look, there's Jafar. What up, Snapchat? Just got the crown. Finessed it from Jasmine. I don't like her. Stole the crown. Jafar! What's up? Give me the crown. What are you gonna do? Beat me up? You're a girl. Girls can't do that. No, but I can. You wouldn't beat me up. You guys brought a tiger? That's not fair. Here, have the crown. Good. So we good now, right? We good? No. Oh, come on. Ah! Ow! Oh, man. Ah! I've known Jasmine for about uh, three years now. She's a really cool wait, person. Wait, wait. I think she would make a great homecoming queen. <sighs> Hello, Annalie Tigers. I hope you're getting excited for the big homecoming game and dance coming up. And I'm here to tell you why Jasmine should be your homecoming queen. So I was Jasmine's teacher for a few years at Annalie. And during our time together, I learned that she's thoughtful. She's caring and very appreciative of others. She has a ton of school spirit. She treats underclassmen respectfully and is always around to help. But most of all, no matter what's happening, she's got a smile on her face, she buckles down, and she gets to work. I miss you, Annalie. Have a great homecoming, and don't forget, vote for Jasmine. Do you think Shrek and Fiona fit in with the other kids <laughs> at Annalie High School? Are you serious? Do you think Shrek and Fiona fit in? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Do it again. Properly. Monsieur Carter, do you think that Shrek and Fiona fit in with the other kids at Amber High School? <laughs> you made me laugh the first time you said, <laughs> stop it. Let's get down to business. Do you think Shrek and Fiona fit in with the other kids at Amber High School? <laughs> Are you serious? Love was out to get me That's the way it seemed Disappointment haunted all my dreams And then I saw her face I'm a believer And not a trace Of doubt in my mind I'm in love How would you describe Shek and Fiona's relationships to the other kids at the school? Uh, well, they're, they're very outgoing, uh, they're very personable, and, um, but they do like to jump out and scare people every so often. Hmm, it's fascinating. What's the use of trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. And then I saw her face. Last but not least. Do you think Shrek and Fiona should win Homecoming Queen? That's a tough question. Thank you for asking that. Um, absolutely. Uh, I know that Shrek's two older sisters ran for Homecoming Queen, and, um, well, they lost. And, uh, well, I'd hate to see the entire family be a bunch of losers. Uh, so, uh, you know, please, let one of these kids win. I mean, imagine how their parents feel. This is embarrassing for the entire Shrek clan. I implore you. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. I don't know if I can do this. I Aren't you the dancing queen? You're right. I think your best quality is being super kind to everyone, having a really good heart. I think you should be homecoming queen because you're involved in many school activities and you're very kind and just very like, extravagant and loving. Yeah. Why do you want to be homecoming queen? So I've wanted to be homecoming queen a very long time, but I never thought I'd actually go out and do it. But I just spontaneously decided to try, and here I am. Oh, Emily is sweet and kind 
and she's all about peace and love. Emily does it all. She plays in band, she sings in choir, she's on stage with drama. She is the triple threat at Annalee High School. Emily should be homecoming queen because Emily is a dancing queen. fun, but like, what would we even do? Uh, let's sleep, sleep on, on it. it. Take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She got. First class, yo, this is bad. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be all right. Hi, boys and girls. This is Uncle Phil here to tell you that Carmen would make an amazing homecoming queen. This homecoming, it's time for a fresh queen. Vote Carmen. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tyler Avery Lewis, and I'm your Miss Sonoma County 2018. And I'm here to pass down this crown to Carmen Freeman. I believe that she is the best candidate for homecoming queen, and I know that she will serve you all well because she is dope, she is fly, she is sophisticated, and she is powerful.